Newton's News 8 brought directly to FedEx about how the company will address safety and security as employees head back to work. News 8's Katie Wisely is live outside a FedEx facility there. Katie, so when are employees actually expected back in the building? Hey, good morning. Well, not till later this week. FedEx, FedEx officials tell me that very limited operations will resume later this week, but not a specific date. And that's after authorities finish their on-site investigation. So the big question, what about employees? FedEx officials say that they're taking numerous steps to ensure that employees feel safe and prepared to return to work, but wouldn't disclose security procedures. I asked about team member pay during this time. They said all employees are being paid their regular rate based on their previous average hours worked. This FedEx facility is the company's second busiest hub with nearly 4,000 workers. Another big question, the cell phone policy. After the shooting, many families were waiting to hear from loved ones. They were upset that most employees aren't allowed to carry mobile devices inside the building, which made contacting them difficult. In a statement to News 8, FedEx said our cell phone policy is based on workplace safety considerations, and we believe it continues to be in the best best interests of our team members while they are on duty. Now we know that the shooter Brandon Hull was a former employee of this FedEx facility here behind me. Now FedEx wouldn't say how he was able to get inside the building, so we're still waiting for that information. We're also still waiting for a motive behind this shooting that killed eight people. As of now, many families continue to grieve and many questions are still left unanswered this morning. Live in Indianapolis, Katie Wisely, Wish TV, wishtv.com and follow.